joined uh, a band uh, called Allegiance back in like 2007. And uh, the short story is we, we got uh, litigation letters to change our name. And so we just threw vowels at it. Because <laughs> uh, uh, no one would ever want this stupid name. Because it's stupid. And no one knows how to say it. And uh, yeah, it's fucking no. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's, it means nothing. It is gibberish. It is, uh, it is our band name. That'd be awesome. Uh, less restrictions. You know, when we first started, uh, we had a completely different lineup. I'm the only one left. But the way uh, it was, the goals were different back then. You know, the, the influences were much different. Uh, the, you know, I used to, like, they would say I'm not allowed to have a certain, like, song because it was uh, too progressive or yeah. not uh, evil enough, you know. And then, uh, which, when we got signed, just got busier and busier and busier, so they didn't have, we needed, you know, they couldn't really afford to say no yeah. to my songs. So, just through time and through, like, you know, shifting members, it's, it's really become freedom and we can do whatever we want and it's just more about music instead of like this ideal of, uh, you know, mood. Uh, well, I'm, you know, I'm from uh, like, you know, more of like a thrash school, you know, like I grew up, you know, Overkill and uh, Megadeth was my favorite band of all time growing up, which now is more of a solo word, but uh, yeah, so it was like when we first started, it was pretty much Megadeth and Dream Theater for me. Mm. And then the other guy was like Behemoth and Nevermore. Definitely. And Arch Enemy. That's, that's how it was. And then, you know, as, as those, you know, it's become now with, with Mike, who's trying to sneak out. And that's, I'm trying to be sneaky and not going to rub you know, there's, 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 there's lots of death that's sitting now. usually use real amps in the studio. We never use like synthetics or, you know, digital. Yeah. Um, but that's changed over the years because uh, right now we're both on Max FX. Um, and in the studio, we would use like a 6505 or, you know, you know some, what, you know, what amp, yeah. 5150 that was lying around. And then all our leads have always been uh, synthetic, except uh, it was like Pond Farm, you know, just a plug-in. I, I think on the second record on Form Shipper, we had a Saldano for our leads. Uh, but yeah, it's always been uh, a plug-in for our leads. Um, uh, but on this last record we did, we used a Kemper mixed with a uh, 6505. So, and I think they used a PRS Acheron or something. Like Oh man, it's it's so hard. I've been doing this so long. I used to like have, like, oh yeah, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, we do this, and none of those things have happened. Uh, so, you know, what we're gonna continue to do is, you know, be true to who we are, have and have a lot of fun. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna put on these. Oh, we're gonna go to Europe because. We were supposed to go to Europe but, uh, this year. Got canceled again. So that's like six European tours. We've never been. Uh, I'm giving up on that. When it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, I, I'm past getting disappointed about it. <laughs> Anything that interests me, like, uh, you know, uh, Ezra and I, we're always interested in science just because it doesn't. For me, I'm not, it's hard to express myself on like personal shit. Like, I just can't, I, I'm retarded that way. So, but it, like to like, hey, I got this idea about like lost civilizations. I'm like, cool, you research that. That's way easier for me to express myself. Um, so, you know, like, we fucking love science. There's that Facebook page, you know, sometimes they put out some really cool articles and then you, that sparks an idea and then you go research that idea, you spend, you know, like a couple weeks going through some like, you know, research papers and stuff like that. And you can pull out some really cool stuff and then you're just sitting there writing, you know, watching documentaries on some subjects and, you know. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it just sparks some, you know, a lot of, you know, we have a lot of fans that are scientists and they'll come and like, hey, I got an idea for you. And you're like, that is fucking cool. Yes, okay, we'll write about that. 
And uh, yeah, we, I mean, we had just last last night in Phoenix, we had like two scientists come out, like they're you know doctors, and, I don't know, some <laughs> crazy biological chemical, I don't know, and uh, you know, way over my pay grade. We aren't scientists, you know. Yeah. We're just, you know, we just love it. Actually, that's that's a lot. Riley actually has a chemistry degree. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. So gives us more uh, legitimacy, wow. <laughs> as it were. But yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, he, he's a chemist, so, we, you know, uh, but yeah, we, we have, the next record's going to be mostly about uh, microorganisms and surviving in very uh, uh, extreme conditions, like there's some, you know, organisms that can survive in space, and some, like, parasitic organisms that can do, like, like, weird shit, like turn ants into zombies and make them kill themselves, like, that's what a lot of the new record's about, um, and, uh, you know, and, and the coolest thing about it is like we can we write songs and sometimes you know before the album comes out our, our songs are proven wrong you know that happened before and, and that's uh that doesn't bum me out i think it's fucking cool you know science is like one of those things that's constantly evolving and you know to to find out how shit works is just awesome so you know it doesn't it doesn't really matter if we're right or wrong it, it, that's not the point you know the point is just learning and uh, just, discovering how shit works and that's just the coolest thing ever so for us anyway yeah. uh, I mean we'll go in we're gonna tr track in March so like we'll go home take take a week or something and then you know we have most of the record done um, none of the solos I have some classical guitar work I have to get in touch with Joe we have to start cranking out some of the orchestra stuff um, but I mean we have a lot of work left to do before we start tracking in March but I mean we're, we're good like the bulk of the songs are done I for me I Mike's done so really well that I, I feel like I need to pick up my shit a little bit and go back and sort of tweak some of my songs and maybe I might have to go home and just like see if I can crank out some songs that I'm, I'm happier with than I am right now uh, which is a weird thing to say because like I take my songs and I'm like yeah it's a great song but Always constantly adapting. Yeah, it's it's kind of, and the other thing is it's like you're your own worst critic too. So I make some songs, which is like, oh, this song's awesome.